All right, what's going on, people? So today we're gonna be unboxing a truth uh, trap for this groundhog. Groundhog that's been eating my cabbage. So take this out. Comes with some pieces here. Got a door latch and a screw to keep it in place. A hinge for the trap. Pretty easy to set up. You just open it up. It's already assembled. Got your front door where you're gonna let the animal escape after you catch it. And here you've got your trap door. It's got levers on it so that once it's sprung, the animal can't open it back up from the inside. Okay. See, it's sort of wobbly, but that's what this piece is for. You basically just spin it around, bring it under. Now it's much more stable. All right, so let's, first thing we wanna do is take this door handle. We're gonna put it through some holes that's already drilled into the cage. I'm gonna line these holes up with these bolts that's on the door. That might be easier than the bottom hole there. Take this bottom hole, go through the nuts, through the other side. gonna take this nut here, this washer or whatever you call it. Screw that on. Now the animals once trapped can't push the door open. To load the spring for the trap, basically what we're gonna do is a lever here that holds the door up. I don't know if you can see that there. Nice lever. So basically, you can take this, lift it, and this lever holds the door open. Now how we spring the trap, inside here, you have your trap floor Slide that through the trap floor, and you can see it lifts and lowers. You can then attach this. And then you see how that sprung, right? So I'm gonna bring this again. Gonna attach that. You attach this to. lever holding the trap door open. And so what happens is as the animal comes in and tries to get to the food in the back, he steps on the trap floor, the weight pulls on this hook which pulls the, leaf, the release away from the trap door closing it. And like I said there's springs on here that prevent the animal from pushing it open on the inside, it's braced against the top of the cage. So let's spring this. It's all set right now. I thought that was the wrong space, hold on. Spring that. Okay. And now, let's go get some bait. We're gonna get some lettuce. And we're gonna get some cabbage that it's already been eating and we're going to use um, an apple that's starting to spoil so we're going to lay some in front of the trap and then inside the trap and we're just going to wait to see if we can catch ourselves a groundhog 
Be right back. Okay, so I didn't get a chance to film it, but we're out here and I've gathered up some of this cabbage. You can see it's just starting to decay a little bit. We've got some lettuce, we've got the apple all cut up, ready to go. So we're gonna take that and we're going to go back over to the patio and uh, set this trap up. And right now I'm just panning around so you can get another good look at the garden. Things are coming in, things are growing. It's been raining a lot here lately. So I haven't had the water. You can see the pumpkin patch. Set up the trellis for the watermelon and the cantaloupe. And the corn is coming in. We've got a few uh, young ears of corn. You can see that there. Young ear of corn coming in over there. We've got a few more coming in. And let's go set up this trap so we can go ahead and take care of this groundhog. All right, see you in a minute. Alright, so having never done this before, we're going to try to figure out what I should put where. And uh, I think I'm going to put some inside, way in the back. Put some right up front. Put some outside of the trap. And I don't know if I should tear this apart. Just get the leaves, put some there, put some in the back. And I'm wearing gloves because I don't want my scent on the food. And the reason I'm putting it here on the ground also, I want to lead it to the trap. All right, and so I'm going to put the trap between these flowers here. Now this groundhog is directly under me in this, under this porch. Everything is good, everything is set up, ready to go. And so we're all set up. Leave that there for as long as it takes to see if we can catch us a groundhog and uh, get rid of it before it causes some property damage underneath my concrete here. So that's that. We'll update you if we catch anything. Subway Farmstead. Peace out.